Now we're getting more insight into suspended attorney general Ken Paxton's relationship with Austin real estate developer Nate Paul on day three of the impeachment trial. Paul is central to Paxton's impeachment articles and today we heard from a former top deputy who eventually reported Paxton to the FBI. Our Monica Madden has been in the Senate chambers all day where Paxton is again absent. And Monica, what do we know about the second witness? Well, Ryan Bankert is another former top aide. He was the deputy first assistant attorney general, someone who worked very closely with Paxton. And prosecutors were again trying to lay the foundation that this is another bona fide conservative talking about his resume. He used to work for Missouri, then attorney general Republican Josh Hawley, and also is a member of the Federalist Society, which is a very conservative group. All of this likely to is likely strategic to appeal to the Republican jurors who will ultimately be, de be deciding how much weight this testimony carries. Belief, shock, extreme concern. Central to day three of the trial, a so-called midnight opinion. This opinion had not gone through the formal rigorous process of review by the opinion committee. Whistleblowers say in August 2020, Paxton demanded a legal opinion declaring foreclosure sales were unsafe due to the pandemic in order to help Nate Paul avoid foreclosures on his properties. The name and authority and power of our office had been, in my view, hijacked to serve the interests of an individual against the interest of the broader public. Defense making the case there wasn't evidence to show Paxton's intent was to help Paul. You stated that you were uncertain why Ken wanted the foreclosure opinion issued, true? Questioning Bangert's allegiance to his boss. You did not take the time to hear his side of things out before you went to law enforcement. I disagree. The defense argued whistleblowers staged a coup against Paxton. Bangert had a different take. Did you consider it a mutiny? It was not a mutiny. How would you characterize it? We were protecting the interest of the state and ultimately, I believe, protecting the interest of the attorney general and, in my view, signing our professional death warrant at the same time. Now, right now, we're still hearing testimony from prosecution's third witness. It's another Ryan, his name Ryan Vassar, another top former attorney general aide who, when he took the witness stand, got very emotional. He started choking up when he was recalling his time working under the attorney general's office because Paxton has since called him a rogue employee after Vassar reported him to the FBI. He was later terminated. And when recalling that, he started choking up, saying that he has dedicated his many years of his uh, life to helping the state in that role working for the attorney general so it was a very emotional testimony that's still going on right now all right our thanks to monica madden for that report